Welcome to No Place Like Home, the radio show, coming to you on WRXB, 1590 AM, 96.5 FM, and Pinellas County Connection TV. This program is presented to you as an opportunity to hear information that can help you fulfill the dream of owning your very own home. We also share information about upcoming special events and programs to help you enjoy the good life in Pinellas County. The sponsor of this program is the Housing Finance Authority of Pinellas County, which offers the first-time home buyers program. I'm Carmen Lemberg alongside Julie. Julian Hills, your host for today's show. Good morning, Julian. How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm great. And can you believe what time of year it is? No, it's Christmas. It's coming. Uh, almost, <laughs> almost. Well, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on this year, as you know, because it's the season. Oh, yeah. So we want to let some of the people out there know what's going on. If you guys are looking for something to do to get into the spirit, don't forget to go out to Florida Botanical Gardens Sunday, December 10th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They have their gift and plant sale. More than 45 vendors will be there, and um, there will be a Botanical Bounty gift shop. There's free parking for everybody. And also at the Florida Botanical Gardens, you'll see that it's lit up all beautifully and pretty. I love that place. <laughs> Holiday Lights is going on through the 31st, so make sure you go out there and, and just let the cheer engulf you and get into holiday spirit with all the beautiful lights and plants. Exactly. It I have a so feeling cool. you're festive. Just a little. <laughs> I, a birdie told me. <laughs> well, today we're covering two important items that home buyers need to consider when purchasing a home, a home warranty, and a home inspection. Today we'll be speaking with Laura Vetter with Home Warranty of America and Kevin Copler with Copler Consulting Incorporated. Before we begin our discussion, though, Carmen, I know you have a message from our sponsor, the Housing Finance Authority. Thanks, Julian. <laughs> The Housing Finance Authority is offering the First Time Home Buyers Program, your key to home ownership, helping people in Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk counties make their dreams of home ownership a reality. The First Time Home Buyers Program is for individuals who have never owned a home, have not owned a home in the last three years, or veterans. The HFA, working through a specialized group of lenders, offers a low rate on its 30 year fixed rate mortgage and can help with down payment and closing costs as well. To get your key to home ownership, visit www. PinellasCounty.org forward slash HFA is in Housing Finance Authority. On the right hand side, there's pictures. The top one says First Time Home Buyers What to Know, tells you all about the program, the counties we cover, the requirements, and how the program works. For more information or comments about the show, give us a call at 727 223 6419. Julian? All right, Carmen, I said their names earlier. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our guests. Laura Vetter is an account executive for HWA Home Warranty of America, who partners with realtors, title agents, mortgage companies, home inspectors, and insurance agents in the real estate industry to help promote the value of a home warranty. Her goal is to educate homeowners of the security a home warranty can give against expenses that may arise from unexpected breakdowns of systems and appliances in the home. She strives every day to utilize her expertise to make a difference in people's lives. Laura has been in the home warranty industry for almost four years. She's actively involved at both Greater Tampa Realtors and the Pinellas Realtor Organization. She serves as a mentor to affiliates at PRO and presented with John Paul Mario Best in Service Award for 2016. Laura is originally from the St. Louis area and moved to Tampa, St. Petersburg four years ago. She graduated from Missouri State University. Her background is in marketing and sales. She worked in the radio sales industry for 22 years. She's married with four kids and lives in St. Petersburg. Kevin Copler is the owner and president of Copler Consulting Incorporated, which he started in 1996. He's performed over 5,000 residential and commercial building inspections on properties ranging from small one-bedroom condos and townhomes to 30,000 square foot residential mansions to one 150-year-old historical buildings. Commercials inspections have included 1,000-plus room hotels, theaters, restaurants, shopping malls, and professional office buildings. Prior to that, he worked as an engineer performing building evaluations, building failure analysis, building envelope analysis, and material testing. He also performed environmental 
site assessments, roof designs, pavement designs, and repair designs, along with monitoring of repairs and construction projects. He has extensive experience in the asbestos inspection, management, planning, and abatement industry. He has a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering from the University of South Florida. Laura, let me start with you this morning. Good morning. Welcome to both of you. Good morning. C- can you give us an overview of why home buyers need a home warranty and what is covered? Sure. Thank you so much, Julian <laughs> and Carmen, for having me on. I appreciate it. Our speaking with everyone. Yeah. So basically, a home warranty. It's a little bit different than homeowner's insurance, which basically protects policyholders from events like theft, fire, weather damage, natural disaster, things like that. But a home warranty is designed to offer protection from unexpected breakdowns from everyday use. So pretty much anything that can have a mechanical failure Mm -hmm. under the roof of your home. So we are the 13-month orange brochure that you may see around. But when talking about home warranties, I always say to think peach. It's a really good way to remember what's included in a home warranty. So peach is an acronym for plumbing, electric, appliances, cooling, and heating. So an easy way to remember what's included. Now, of course, plumbing isn't a mechanical failure, but it does include the stoppages, clogs, breaks, leaks, things of that nature, and then pretty much the mechanical failure on electric, appliances, cooling, and heating is what you can expect to be covered under a home warranty. And, you know, new appliances, home equipment, they generally have a manufacturer's warranty. So that is a little bit different. Those warranties range from two months, three months to a year, sometimes even two years. But a home warranty, ours goes for 13 months. You get an extra month of coverage from us. And uh, it can be renewed every single year. So it doesn't matter on the age restrictions or anything. So there's no restrictions on age. Uh, Also, you know, warranties, people have them on their cell phones, their iPads. They're things that they use every day, and that's very important to have that warranty, you know, if you break your cell phone or something. But for not too much more, you can have your entire home covered with the home warranty, so all of that. So it's just people don't think about it as much as their electronics, but it is an important warranty to have because all of your systems are covered and you know, it's not really when or, you know, if something's going to happen, it's when something's going to exactly. happen. So it's important just to protect yourself. And it's a huge savings if something does happen. And a lot of times we don't have all that extra money laying around, especially when you're purchasing a new home. A lot of times the seller will provide it because they know they have old systems or appliances. So because we have no age restrictions, that's important as long as it's in proper working order, which is another key warranty term. It needs to be in proper working order. You can't really take out a home warranty when something's already broke. It's kind of like... You know, um, having fun out of car it. insurance. <laughs> yeah, but that, I just got in an accident, but now I want my car insurance. So exactly. it's the same type of thing. Uh, just it needs to be in proper working order. So sellers, it's a very goodwill gesture. And also during the negotiation, when they're selling their home, if somebody is having a home inspection and it comes up that there's older systems, instead of having to be reactive, if the seller is offering it up front, it shows that goodwill that they want something good for the buyer and it's a warm fuzzy. So a lot of times sellers do offer it. And then on the buying end, if there isn't a home warranty in place and there are older systems and appliances, it's scary. It's really scary to go into home purchase when they're old. And so they ask for the home warranty just so that they can help protect themselves and give some peace of mind after the home closes. And then if something does happen, if there is a post-sale liability, you know, discussion, it really doesn't happen because the home warranty is in place and they can just call in a claim and, and get it taken care of. So... So are inspections mandatory or is it like kind of a blanket warranty? So home inspections aren't required. We do not write down serial numbers or things of that nature, but I really don't like to have a home warranty in place. If you're going to invest the money in a home warranty, you really should invest the money in a home inspection. All of it is about protecting yourself. So if you're protecting yourself with a home warranty, unless, you know, it's all about pre-existing. So the only reason claims are really denied is if they think it was a pre-existing condition or if it's not part of the coverage terms. So 
the only way to determine pre-existing condition is to have a home inspection. Now, if we deny a claim due to pre-existing, if we ask for the home inspection afterwards and it's not on there, we do cover unknown pre-existing. So if it's not on the home inspection, then we and we denied the claim, we'd overturn the denial and cover that claim. So it's just good to protect yourself all the way around, and it's a second step in having that protection. So investing in a home warranty is the first thing, but also, you know, always, you know, cover, check your, all the bases, and, and get both, I think, is the best way to go about it. They just go hand in hand. It just makes perfect sense. Right. Now, does your coverage, is there are different price points, different levels, or it is all just one, one plan fits all? We do have several different options. We have a gold, platinum, and diamond plan. The gold plan does cover all of the plumbing, electric, appliances, cooling, and heating, but it's more of the basic coverage. So we have the platinum plan that's not very much more. It's our most popular. It's our middle of the road, but it's amazing coverage. So we have the great AC coverage. If Florida statute requires the systems to match, there's a bump in coverage. It also has all the premium upgrades like sediment in the water heater, dishwasher rollers and racks, plumbing fixtures, things of that nature. Oh, good thing. Okay. Yeah. And then it also has the ability for rekeying the home. So clients really like that. Oh, they can yeah. call in a claim and rekey their house once they move in. So homeowners love that part of it. And then we also have the diamond plan. Um, that one covers, you know, professional series appliances, haul away, um, you know, code violations and permits up, up to $250. So that's if, you know, we're replacing the water heater and it needs to upgrade you know, that would apply to that. It's not pulling new permits or anything. But the price range for single family is four seventy five, five twenty, and five ninety. So you can expect to pay under six hundred dollars or wow. under five depending. And you'll um, pay more than that if a refrigerator goes out. <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot more if your AC goes out. A lot more. <laughs> Absolutely. So just um, to know you have that peace of mind. Yep. Yeah. And we also offer condo, mobile home, town home, and that coverage is less. So Wow. Well, Kevin, I want to turn the conversation over to you because we've been uh, already talking a lot about home inspections. Everyone buying a home should invest in an inspection. So explain to us why they're so important. Um, well, it's basically the home buyer's um, chance to get a evaluation of the home before they buy it. Um, a lot of times you'll go into a home and it'll look pretty from the outside, from the inside, new paint, new appliances, but a lot of things are hidden and really without an inspection you don't see those hidden items. So I'll go in there, spend usually three, four hours on a typical size home and kind of go through piece by piece to see what's there and that gives the buyer some some added advantages for uh, negotiations so they go back to the the table and say you know we've got all these things that need to be repaired or replaced you know we want to lower the price of the house or have you repair these things um, so it's it's really uh, your time to kick the tires. Um, you know, a lot of people will take a go to buy a used car, and they'll take it to a mechanic, have them look over everything. That's basically what we do with a home inspection: is you know, kick the tires, look at everything that's there, um, and you know, try to get a good feel and tell the client everything we can about the house. So, like, name some of the things that you notice or look for or commonly find during an inspection. Uh, commonly find? Oh, there's millions of things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been doing this um, over, well over 20 years. And uh, during the home inspection itself, you're looking at about a thousand different items wow. that are going through there. We look at everything from the foundation, the exterior, the roof, the attic, electrical system, plumbing system water heater, HVAC systems, the interior uh, appliances, sites, grounds, drainage, um, if there's uh, swimming pool, spas, seawalls, docks, all those things. And then depending on the age of the home, um, especially like your older homes, certain methods were allowable when that home was built, but not when today's standards mm -hmm. are here. So there's quite a few things that we're looking at. Would you can would you suggest that maybe a potential buyer be present during 
Definitely. Really? Um, what I normally recommend is the buyer be there. Um, the buyer, sh especially at the end of the inspection, at the end of the inspection, I'll walk around with the buyer and their agent and we'll talk about all the things that I find during the inspection. Um, we'll look at um, the location of the disconnects, the um, shutoff valves, um, any stains or cracks, cosmetic issues, uh, nothing worse than somebody moving into a new house and looking up on the ceiling and seeing a crack, uh. you know. <laughs> so we try to look at those things, say, hey, this crack is here. It's not a, you know, an issue. Um, so that's the time to be there. Uh, normally when I'm doing the inspection, the um, the, it's pretty boring to watch me just walk around and look at things, but that's a good time for the clients to take measurements of the home, take photographs, uh, see where they're going to put their furniture and that sort of thing. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Wow. So how long after you're done with the inspection does it take to actually get the report out to the, the mortgage company, to the buyer? The reports are usually done within 24 to 48 hours. Fast. Um, it's, it really depends on the size of the home and the complexity of the home. So it may be a small home that was built 100 years ago. That's a complex home because there's a lot of a things lot to look at. <laughs> and I try to be very detailed in what I uh, report on. So it takes time to put those little pieces of information into the report. So when you're doing the report, are you just being factual about here's what this is, here's what this is, or are there any recommendations or anything included in the report? No, I try to be very detailed in my report. Um, I put um, information into the report, including the... Um, the repairs that are needed. Uh, some things need further evaluations. Uh, I also report on safety concerns, recommended upgrades, um, maintenance items, um, things that need to be monitored over time. Uh, all of that is in the report along with a lot of detailed uh, photographs that are also uh, show what's noted during the inspection. That's, now do you, um do you email them? Do you mail them? How do you, I mean, in, you know, in today's electronic world. I Typically in today's world, I email everything. That's um, great. And that gets directly to the client. Uh, and then from the client, if they need to send it to their agent, they they can do that. Um, I usually recommend that they don't send it to the insurance companies because there's a lot of information on those that mm -hmm. um, the insurance companies Really, what they're looking for is more of a what's called a four-point inspection that will um, show them just some brief information on the electrical, the plumbing, the HVAC, and the roof. I was just going to ask you about that very thing because it is two different inspections. Yes, yes. And uh, do you do you do both of them, or you just concentrate on the the main important one? The main. People usually call me up just for the home inspection. If it's a home that's over 25 years in, or 30 years, then as I'm going through and in my report, I'll report these are things that may be insurance issues. Um, at that time, I can either do a four-point form for them at that time, or they can have those things fixed, and then I can go recheck that those things have and been repaired and then do a clean four point for them. Okay. So I have a question. So as I've listened to both of you, I'm trying to figure out, like, I have a home inspector. Where, where would Laura come in? Like in this process, where would you come in after hearing about the inspection? And like, how, how does that work for someone who's, who's like me, who's just really finding out about home warranties? So basically, when he's going through the inspection, if there are older systems or appliances, but they are in proper working order, or they get fixed, or even if they're not, if they get fixed after after, after the fact and they keep that receipt, but usually it's after the inspection, people contact me and say, "Hey, I was recommended to have a home warranty. I need to get something set up." So, and so, are, would you say that there that you would recommend them more for an older property or it's still good to have them even for a newer property. We do new construction, and basically it's two years for the price of one. It starts on 366 day because usually there's the home builder. So we do them on on all types of properties, rentals, existing homes, also in the at the real estate transaction, which is what I deal mostly with. Mm -hmm. But um, typically people 
if there's an older system or appliance, that's when they're the most scared and they want a, want a home warranty for that protection. Because that kind of dovetails into what I was just thinking about was, was timing. So, you know, first the home inspection has to come in. And I, I think typically in real estate contracts, don't they have only like a period of 10 days to get that? That should be the minimum is 10 days. There are contracts that um, they whittle that down to five days. And it's really hard to find a good inspector in that amount of time. Mm-hmm. Over the summer, I was booked up two weeks in advance. Wow. And right now, I'm about a week in advance. So by the time you have your inspection done, and then if there's something that needs to be further evaluated, you, you got to have somebody come out there, then you're starting to run out of time. So you should have at least a minimum of 10 days to do the inspection. And then that gives you some time to get those things in line to have and make your decision on what what you get from that report. Because I know what I'm kind of hoping is trying to get word out to people that, you know, they're so focused on just getting the house mm-hmm. and then the financing. And there's so much that happens. Once you sign that contract, the clock is running. And all of these things have to happen so fast. So they need to know who they're going to call for their home inspection. They need to know who they're going to call for the home warranty or whether, how they're going to be negotiating, what they're going to ask. I'm, I mean, assuming they, I mean, really, once they sign that contract, they should be on the phone to you. I just signed my contract. How fast can you come out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have people call me saying they're looking at our contract. We expect it to get signed in the next day or two. So um, we want to put get, get on your schedule. You talked about finding things that you know, when the house was built might not be up to standards that are now. What are some of those things? Uh, Electric wiring would be a big part of that. Mm -hmm. Um, There's, over time, we find out that certain things work and don't work. So back in, you know, 150 years ago, very few codes. And then as codes started coming in, tradesmen would start doing things a certain way. One of the big things would be like uh, tie-down straps for hurricanes. Mm -hmm. Back before Andrew hit in 95, we were putting straps in, but we weren't putting enough nails in them, weren't putting them over the trusses. And now Andrew comes through, rips all the roofs off, so we see, oh, this is what we need. So those are things that you point out during the inspection that, you know, these they're, it's standard at the time, but it's not standard today. So you may want to upgrade those things. And another question, kind of similar. What are some things that a home warranty might cover that people wouldn't even think about? Well, doorbells, central back, the you know garage door opener, the mechanical portion, not the rollers and racks in the door itself, but again, mechanical. So pretty much anything that has a mechanical. I those things. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was talking about the plumbing. I didn't know <laughs> that you could get them to cover the plumbing. Yes, yes. And like, I mean, I purchased a house that was vacant and everything was running great and about three or four months in, every single plumbing in the house stopped up and wow. we use the whole cap for that. So I was very thankful to have a warranty. And under a warranty, so if something is not working anymore, how how does that work with getting the right people to fix it and having all that covered as well? So it's really simple. There's an 888 number to call, and they just call in. They can also file a claim at hwahomewarranty.com, so, and it's 24 24- hours, seven days a week, they can call in or or make a claim online. We assign a vendor. That vendor gives them a call, and they find out a mutually agreeable time to get together, set an appointment. That vendor comes out. They can either fix it on the spot. They're authorized to a certain amount, or we call in the the diagnosis, and then we decide, you know, what is covered or if a part needs to be ordered or if it needs to be replaced and a new unit needs to be ordered, and then they get rolling on it. That works out pretty good. Um, Are there certain um, brands or products that you work with, or is it just about getting things in working order? The goal of a warranty is to repair, but we do replace, and if we do replace, it is with a similar item. Uh, The client can can upgrade to stainless steel if they have an appliance that's white or black or something and they want to upgrade to the stainless steel they can certainly do that Uh, they would just take the amount and then apply it towards the purchase and then they could yeah 
So we try and make it easy for them to make claims and have somebody come out and, and do that. So real important, I forgot, contact information for you. Of course. So I'm Laura Vetter. I'm with HWA, Home Warranty of America. We are the 13-month warranty. You can find us and look at our plans at www. Uh, hwahomewarranty.com you can contact me via email at l like in laura l vetter v e t t e r at hwahomewarranty.com and you can also call or text me on my mobile at 813-514-3255 i'm happy to answer any questions and for you um, I'm Kevin Copler uh, with Copler Consulting, and uh, the best way to reach me is directly through my cell phone, which is 813-230-9822, and uh, that's just give me a call directly, and I'll schedule the inspection. So people really need to write down this information, so now when they go out and get their contract, they just make two phone calls right away, get you both right. on board, get you lined up, and then they'll be good to go, Right. Absolutely. That's it. So we have we have this conversation went by fast. We have about three minutes left. So in that time, I just want both of you to think about the two things that like people really need to think about in this process. I'm sure you guys come across people all who miss some things. And just what do you want people to know about both of what you do and how it's important to their home buying process? To start, I just feel like they should negotiate it in at the beginning and write it in every single contract. It can be used as a negotiation tool. They can get the price they want and the warranty gets kicked out on the front end. So use it to help negotiate. Ask your real estate agent to help negotiate with that. And then on the back end, if you don't get it during your initial negotiation, but you get your price, which is great, when it comes back during inspection, you can throw that back in and ask for it again. And then you're consistently trying to protect yourself because it's not an if, it's a when it's going to happen. And it all happens at once, it seems like. It always does. And Kevin? Uh, well, the most important thing is calling me right when you get your contract signed. Um, get on the schedule and get in. let me get into the house and get the report to you so you can make your decisions whether you proceed with the purchase of the home or whether you can negotiate the price of the home or have your seller make repairs that you need to have done. It's also important for insurance. If there's, if it's an older home and you can't get insurance, there's no reason to proceed further. If you can't get insurance, it's uninsurable. So those are things that really need to be taken care of right off the bat. And I know that I just can't emphasize enough about inspections. Um, as I told you before the radio show about what happened to me, I was so taken by how cute the little house was. And the inspector comes in and <laughs> reaches up and puts his finger right through the, um, the, fascia. the fascia. And it had a lot of paint on it, so it looked really good. And it looked solid when you're looking at it. But he noticed something, put his finger up there, cheek, right through it. And I was like, wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> so you, you've, got, you've got to be aware of... of these things and the only way to do them is to have a home inspector do them i mean it's just it's so easy to get caught up when you're looking at houses you look at 50 and you finally walk into one that's so cute and you just overlook all of these important things and it's so important well that's why shows like this are so important and i love doing them because shows like this always teach me something new and it goes by so quickly it does. <laughs> we only have a couple moments left so i'd like to thank laura and kevin for joining us i'd like to thank the pinellas county communications department for being my boss i'd like to thank <laughs> you carmen for joining me thank every you. month and of course wrxb 1590 am and 96.5 fm we look forward to having you join us next month if you missed any part of this informative show or would like to view past shows, check out our website or catch us on YouTube. I'm Julian Hills. I'm Carmen Lemberg. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, make it a great day.